right? 109 calls, right? Today they're coming with a 112 calls. Guys, watch Amazon for tomorrow. This thing is literally, you know, could be a day away from getting above. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com, uh nightly update show. Happy uh, Wednesday. Hope everybody had a good trading day. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, please like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. We are trying to uh, push through uh, the unbiased technical analysis movement and I think uh, the day-to-day -day basis uh, works very, very well uh, for a lot of traders, kind of you know, simplifying the way you look at the market into uh, a small universe instead of having mass opinions, what you think is going to happen uh, in a certain time frame. So let's talk about it, right? So yesterday, the market had uh, a really good organic rest, right? We had this big, big move up on the queues for the last several days. Uh, the day before CPI, you know, it was very, very methodical. Uh, not a lot of expansion because, again, it's very understandable. People probably uh, are not making any bets until they see uh, the inflation numbers. Uh, core CPI came out uh, this morning, and this is the first time in two years it fell below uh, 5%. They'll get excited, 4.9%, but again, baby steps. Um, Rome wasn't uh, built in a day. Uh, the initial spike, very, very aggressive. You could see the pre-market spike, very, very aggressive. And then it came in pretty more aggressive and then it spiked back aggressive. So the one crazy part about this tape, and, and again, you, you, could, you can make the, you can at least see it. Like I, I've always maintained the idea of the scoreboard is a scoreboard. If the scoreboard is telling you where, where at yearly highs, where at yearly highs, I don't care the way it got there. Um, so I, I do see a lot of frustration though, from uh, especially a lot of perma bears that how is this market, with, with all this aggression, especially intraday that's being pulled, how can this market feel so good for certain people? But again, the scoreboard is the scoreboard. Right now we are uh, at yearly highs. We came in today uh, with the queues up more than 21% uh, for the year. And it is what it is. I, I think the, the narrative of the market is only being pushed up by five stocks. You know, I think you could put that to bed. Of course, the market's not going to go straight, straight up. And again, we've seen some technical damage in a lot of areas, even from February, but yet we find ourselves back uh, at highs. Again, it doesn't make a difference how you feel about it, what your opinion is. Again, the scoreboard uh, is the scoreboard. The NASDAQ today, uh, price improved on anything. The only reason why it stopped uh, going higher because it hit the Bollinger Band uh, at 326. We talked about all these prices on uh, the weekend video that it needed to get above uh, that 324 level. If you guys remember on the spies, right? We talked about the spies that it needed to get above 314. That's where it got rejected. That's the one aspect of the market that's still seeing uh, the disconnection. If you saw uh, the banks today, they started getting weaker, like a name, uh, for example, like KeyCorp, right? KeyCorp had this really disgusting move down, phenomenal move overnight. Uh, this is the lowest close in the five-day formation. Again, you, you see a lot of charts look like this. Look at a name, for example, like HBAN as well. You're kind of starting to see the same thing. So the, the fact that the NASDAQ is, you know, putting in such aggressive rallies, uh, despite now, this is now going three, four days, despite uh, the continuation of weakness in especially the regionals really does show you how strong uh, the tape is. Obviously, again, every single day uh, that can change and the banks can rally and the queues, uh, members of NASDAQ 100 get slaughtered. And, you know, it's all part of the game. But as of right now, uh, that's exactly uh, what's going on. Uh, you got after the close, uh, you had, you know, numbers come out on uh, Disney. Not, a, you know, not a huge reaction, but down, you know, down 2%, you know, nothing crazy, but down, you know, down 2%. Uh, SONO is obviously the big uh, loser after uh, the close down uh, over 20%. Today we had uh, the Google uh, AI event. If you guys remember, uh, Google was uh, a pretty big buy. There were pretty big buyers on Google uh, all the way through the last couple of days. If you guys remember, uh, they were coming for, you know, the, the 10s, the 11s, the 12s. And, you know, the Google event actually... Uh, played out pretty well. Uh, here's kind of the fine points. I'm just going to read them to you. Uh, they they rolled out a lot of different stuff. Uh, the new Palm 2 large language model, all AI, of course. Uh, the new AI writing tools, 
I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, let's see here. You got uh, the AI uh, search bar, the AI budget Android phone. You got a $1,800 Pixel folding phone. Hey, listen, the market liked it, right? The market liked it. They threw a bunch of AI, you know, AI, which is the hot take uh, of, of of 2023. And, you know, they it took a lot of names uh, higher as well. We talked about Amazon uh, last few days that they were coming for aggressive 106, 107 right 109 calls right today they're coming with the 112 calls guys watch amazon for tomorrow this thing is literally you know it could be a day away from getting above you know that last run into the linear regression line I and mean, this thing looks really uh really great um you know meta you know meta i was watching meta today for continuation people are watching the video uh for the last couple of days i was waiting for them to get above the five day uh just like everything else in the cpi when everything spiked you know meta spiked it just went straight down they didn't even give you uh, an opening range play, which is very, very odd considering uh, that it does have a catalyst and, you know, really, really strong earnings. But again, you know, it is what it is. Uh, some names that did not participate today, uh, Tesla, right? Uh, I actually got long Tesla above above the high from two days ago. It stalled out, literally went uh, up 50 cents, did nothing. It was a real old seller in the crowd. It got out of the position, uh, got out of the position, no harm, no foul. And you, we watched this thing get hit. Keep an eye on Tesla for the next couple of days. You guys see how the stock has just stood, is getting defended here on the five-day, right? This orange line. Keep an eye on this thing. If the stock can't rally in the next couple of days, if if it event eventually starts losing the five-day moving average, maybe this thing starts to roll over. I, again, it's something I want to see because the, the one thing I, I've always I've always realized and a long, long time ago, when the market is this aggressive and the stock is not participating, that's a problem, right? You want to give it one shot. You want to give it two shots. Uh, but if the stock is not participating, that's a, it's a, you know, it's not really uh, a great, uh, great sign. Uh, Microsoft, again, uh, is going out of its mind. We talked about Amazon. Uh, we talked about Microsoft, Amazon, Google, all these stocks the last couple of days. It finally got above this channel here. It got above last week's highs and now is uh, really, really uh, moving. Uh, Apple, I think, might be one day away, right? It's, it's a great consolidation. Just needs to get above the earnings highs. Hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, this thing uh, can wake up as well. And let me just give you, get, get, get you guys a couple of more names to kind of watch uh, for tomorrow. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, Shopify. Uh, what's the name? Not Shopify. Uh, Spotify, right? So I traded Spotify also today. Finally got above. Talking about a thin stock. Finally got above the uh, the earnings highs we talked about. Yeah, put in a nice little move, but boy, oh boy, I really thought this thing was going to explode up 10 today of the consolidation. And watch Uber in the next couple of days. Keep an eye on Uber. So I know I understand Uber had a big, big run. And yes, you'd like to see it go sideways, maybe for the next couple of days. But eventually it starts, it needs to start taking out this upper range here. And when it does, uh, maybe this thing finally starts uh, waking up as well. Uh, still waiting for this IMGN. This is like the longest uh, consolidation like ever. Uh, but eventually, you know, I think, listen, eventually if this thing uh, gets above the range, the, the recent PRs range, uh, this thing's going to go too. So look, the, the market is continuously to be strong. Um, you know, is that going to change? You know, who knows, right? Who knows? We're not in the guessing game. Uh, but the most important part is we're sticking to the themes, the option flow, the deep out of the money, short-term expiration, whatever is, is happening, that is uh, what is being rewarded in this tape? Uh, a name like Shopify, uh, we've been talking about a potential back test, right? Uh, the other day it opened up down a dollar fifty, did nothing. Today it put an inverted hammer. Again, I'm not talking about this thing. This is the high for the stock, destruction of prices, but I want to watch this thing for the next day or so. If it could start losing a couple of days of ranges, this is strictly for a trade, right? Don't get crazy. The stock looks great. If the market continues, it'll probably be higher, you know, a couple of weeks from now. We're just looking for it to take advantage of gravity plus this inverted hammer here. And if it starts losing back this five-day moving average, maybe it'll finally give us a, you know, a, nice, uh, a nice trade to the downside. Because keep this in mind, the stock has gone from 46 uh, all the way to 66. You know what I mean? So, you know, a couple of dollars, two, three dollar potential back test is not uh, really the end of the world. Again, I just want to be prepared on both sides of the market. So let's talk about today's channels. Uh, Spotify again. We talked about it. I, you know, I, I, I traded some Spotify. I went up like a dollar, a dollar change. Nothing crazy there. Um, Tesla. You know, I, I bought Tesla off the 73, 80, 74 area. Uh, that was the high from two days ago. Like I knew there was going to be a little bit of supply coming in, so it hit supply. But then a reload seller came into the stock, and we were watching it, watching it, watching it. And I was like, Hey guys, if this thing doesn't move uh, in the next minute or so, I'll get the hell out. 
I used break even as a stop. And, uh, you know, they, the seller just was relentless. And that's kind of why I'm watching this thing. And this is kind of why I'm watching this thing. If it starts losing uh, the five day in the next couple of days, uh, NVIDIA had an initial thrust, uh, 289.73 needs to build. And then the stock, you know, never just really recovered the whole day, but it took out the 89.73, went to like 291. I still like this thing over the next couple of days, uh, but I think right now it's a little bit in the middle of the range, probably needs one more uh, day of rest. Uh, Microsoft, just a monster, uh, 310.20 needs to build. We talked about Microsoft consolidation. This is why Apple is consolidating as well. Uh, got above these two candles here, right? You see this here, right? Three, 310 20 was the high from two days ago. Yesterday's high was 310. Once it got above the 310 uh, 20, it took out the previous channel high of 312, went to 313. This thing still looks good uh, on dips or into strength above today's range. Uh, AMD is just an absolute free show monster these days. Uh, AMD 9680 needs to build. Uh, here was AMD went yeah, basically 100, right? We took out 96.80 and went right to 100, 99.94. Just an absolute stellar move uh, there. Uh, ETNB we talked about last night, 1835 needs to build. Not a huge initial move, but uh, its stock is uh, looking pretty good. ETNB broke out about 18, above 1835, uh, went to about 19 before it got rejected. But this is definitely the highest close. Uh, in this whole formation, uh, IMG, and I'm still waiting, has been rejected off 14, like 68,000 times, or at least twice. Apple, we're still waiting for that consolidation. Uh, Meta, again, we talked about, uh, we talked about Meta just never gave that opening range high. And TTD got rejected the same area. Mara got rejected off the same area. Uh, and that's it, right? That's it. So, you know, the, the plan every single day is definitely be prepared. You know, I'm watching some potential if the market is weak tomorrow. Uh, I'm definitely watching Tesla if the market's weak tomorrow. I'm definitely watching Shopify in case it can't rally. Uh, and that inverted hammer is a clue that there's a, you know, a, another day or so of back testing. But at the same time, man, we're watching we, you know, strong stocks into dip. Microsoft, Google, Amazon. These things are rock stars right now. So until it stops working, you got to keep working. Right, guys? So everybody have a great night. Game five tonight. Knicks. Uh, heat, I will be there, guaranteed, guaranteed a loss for the Knicks, right? I have to Belichick or at least reverse Belichick the market. Hopefully I can break a 20-year streak of losing pl home playoff games when I go. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Uh, as a reminder, tomorrow is Thursday. It's my regular night off, so there is no video. If you are planning to join us in the live webinar, please get there early tomorrow for morning strategy where we discuss the morning pivots, get you situated, and see how the wonderful world of Pivot Works. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.